High News Views, February 9th. The Winter Olympic Games in Sochi are underway. The opening ceremony had lights, floats, and flying for a global audience. There is a large contingent of police and security officers, but some people are jittery about safety, so they're watching online or on TV. The game's original budget expected the cost to host the games at $12 billion, but that amount has ballooned to around $50 billion, making these games the most expensive Olympics ever, summer or winter. Vulnerable teenagers are the target of a major anti-tobacco campaign in the U.S. The FDA is spending $115 million to reduce the number of cigarette smokers among the 10 million 12 to 17 year olds who are open to trying or already experimenting with cigarettes. The goal is to reduce the number of youth smokers by 300,000 within three years. 90% of all adult smokers began smoking before the age of 18, so early intervention is considered critical in eliminating the many ills of smoking. Samsung and Hyundai are feeling the pinch of a stronger Korean won but local travelers in the airlines and utilities sectors are benefiting. Korea Electric Power Corporation reported its first operating profit in six years due to the reduced expenditures for imported oil. Korean airlines enjoyed a fourth quarter operating profit due to the lower fuel and labor costs. More than 16 million Koreans are expected to go abroad this year compared with 14.87 million in 2013. Cars will soon be talking to each other. Radio signals will continually transmit a vehicle's position, speed, and other information so other cars and trucks within 500 meters can monitor their relative position. Drivers will be alerted of impending collisions in time to take evasive actions. Many high-end vehicles already have radar systems that are part of the self-driving car technology that is sure to usher in a new era in driving safety. Watching a girl eat is now all the rage in South Korea. Africa TV's hit new show is a bizarre fad where thousands of viewers tune in to watch someone else eat online. Soyeon Park is the queen of this phenomenon and makes nearly $10,000 per month. The live chat lasts four to six hours per night and Miss Park works every day including weekends. Virginia's state legislature has sided with South Korea and now mandates that all school textbooks include East Sea alongside Sea of Japan. The state's large Korean-American community has lobbied long and hard to get this bill passed and now has set its sights on other states. Tokyo has called the bill's passage extremely regrettable and is hoping that other states don't follow suit.